Meanwhile, the Yellowstone County attorney is speaking out furious as Governor Bullock vetoes a bill to require mandatory prison time for fifth-time DUI offenders. However, the governor believes the approach of the bill, which passed the House with an overwhelming majority, is not the right approach. MTN's Andrea Lutz has new information this morning on how lawmakers and supporters plan to move forward. At a time when Montana's DUIs were among the highest in the country, Governor Steve Bullock took office as then Attorney General. Most can agree Montana's drunk driving epidemic needs change. But they need to be dealt with. And this, what we currently have, isn't doing it. So this session, freshman Republican Representative Bill Mercer launched a bill to make prison time a part of mandatory punishment for those who get their fifth DUI. This legislation was designed to say public safety demands that we treat this person differently than we did in those initial four attempts to try to modify behavior. His bill had the support from the House and Senate and Yellowstone County Attorney Scott Twido. These are the functioning drunk drivers. They are, <laughs> their BACs are not like around the threshold level. They're like three, four, five times the level. Many were sure the legislation would also get the signature from Governor Bullock, but it didn't. Bullock says the cases of DUI offenders go to the Montana Department of Corrections, where each case is handled differently. In most cases, treatment is the focus. And Bullock says the evidence-based intervention is working, with DUIs at a four-year downward trend. Where are you going to draw the line? Still, Twido and Mercer believe it's not enough. I mean, this seemed like a very rational point to say this is a person who's already failed to modify behavior after four previous attempts. If the fifth and sixth DUIs are too low a threshold to, to require some term at state prison, then what is it? While Bullock says more can be done to curb Montana's drunk driving problem, he says this bill was a step backward from criminal justice reform. In Billings, Andrea Lutz, MTN News. Bullock also says there's no evidence showing prison sentences does much to discourage crimes. He said increasing the severity of punishment is effective in these cases.